Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Richardson Hitchens, he gets the win over Don Lemos. He wins by unanimous decision. But I have to say, after watching the fight, at least just watching the fight the first time, I thought Don Lemos won the fight. Hitchens, he started the fight off a little timid. He was already backing up to the ropes like in the first round. He wasn't really throwing too many punches back. He was trying to fight the way he fought in his very last fight, which he got a lot of backlash for. But he couldn't keep that pace up in this fight because Don Lemos was applying a lot of pressure on him. So after the first couple of rounds, uh, Hitchens, he started to get just a little bit more aggressive. And then finally, by the middle rounds, he was winning rounds. That's when he got his second win. He had his best little run in the fight in the middle rounds. But then Don Lemos, he came back and he finished stronger when it came to the championship rounds. And even some of the later rounds before the championship rounds. It looked to me like Hitchens, he had either gassed out or it got caught with something that made him extremely reluctant to let his hands go for the rest of the fight. Either way, I thought Don Lemos won the fight. One judge had the fight score 117 to a 111 which is completely ridiculous because this was way too close of a fight. But Hitchens, he still moves on with the win, and now he'll become the mandatory of Sabrio Matias, which I don't believe he wants to fight Sabrio Matias because when he was asked who he wants to fight, knowing that he's Sabrio Matias' is mandatory, he started talking about fighting for the WBC and other belts. Now, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Hitchens, he said a while ago, he wanted to fight all the champions besides Sabrio Matias. He said, because Sabrio Matias, he is a tough fight for anybody. So if he felt that way then, I'm sure he still feels that way now. We'll see who Hitchens decide to fight. You know, I really would like to see uh, Regis Progray get back in the mix. Unless he's going to try to go over to PBC and get a fight with Isaac Pitbull Cruz, which we'll will see. be another great fight. So we'll see soon what's next for all these fighters at 140. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.